good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, it is a good morning. Yeah, it's about 4.23 in the morning right now. And we're just getting ready to roll. So that's coming right along with the Trucker Rudy show this morning. And uh, let's see if we can stay safe out here this morning. Stick around, don't go nowhere, right after the intro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yes indeed. We've been driving now for about three hours now. Yeah, we've just been giving her early this morning already, so it's 7.30 this morning. Yeah, right now as we speak, it's 7.30. And here we are, just cruising right along. Oh yeah, we're going to probably see my cousin go by here later on yet. Probably in about another hour, I would say, I'll probably be, he's going to go the other way and I'm going that way. But yeah, he slept in uh, Minot, North Dakota. And here we are. I'm not in Minot yet. I'm still about an hour and 45 minutes away from Minot, but hey, we got us a terrible rainstorm, thunderstorm there last night. Real heavy wind and all that good stuff, so. I got me okay sleep though. It was only for a few minutes and then it was gone, but. But yeah. It's the way it is. Now we are still on, uh, on the northern part of North Dakota. We already uh, gone through uh, Jamestown up there in, uh, on the uh, 94. You know, we're already on US 52. Yeah, that's right. I always call this a dangerous highway up here. Because I've had some bad experiences on these highways up here. They got some impatient drivers on here all the time. They just in a hurry, 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 you know. And they will do anything just to pass you, you know. And as you can see, it's a two lane highway up here, so. Let's hope that that ain't gonna happen today. But we'll see, right? We'll see what happens. But yeah, we got us a couple of hours till we will get to the border. That's for sure. But if nothing goes wrong, we will be in Canada today and if we will be able to do what uh, my goal is for today, then uh, I'll be in North Battleford, Saskatchewan today for the next night. That's the plan anyways, so we'll see exactly how far we make it, but hey, Saskatoon should be uh, for sure. But we'll see if we actually make it up to uh, North Battleford, we'll see about that. But, but yeah, just figured I'd show you a little bit of my early morning here. I am coming into the area of Minot, North Dakota, ladies and gentlemen. Speed limit reduced yeah, ahead. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna be making us a pit stop in here, that's for sure. I need to use the restroom and all that good stuff. Maybe grab me a sandwich or something like that. One mile, turn left on US 2 West, US 52 West Kenmer. All right, RJ, we'll go ahead and do that then. Here's the sign, why not? Yep, that's right. We are now officially in Minot, North Dakota. Yeah, I know somebody that lives here. I sure do. Yep, but hey, we're gonna go make us a pit stop after about four and a half hours worth of driving, so. I think we did pretty good. I think so anyways. And then we got about an order an hour and forty-five minutes to the border from Steve here. Warning. So So yeah, should be in Canada in about two hours I would say. Well you know, take give or take a little bit here for the truck stop pit stop. I'd say two and a half hours. 0.2 miles, be, uh, turn left on. US 2 West, US 52 West Canada. Yeah. I can't 
contacted somebody there that lives in Esteban. Saskatch Saskatchewan there. And uh, I figured hey if they are not working today or if they got time or whatever we could probably go meet up but he said he's working today so he says he's got tomorrow off and so that ain't gonna work so but that's all right we go through here all, you know every once in a while so maybe next time we can meet up you know you never know when I come through your town so you might want to check the website every once in a while and keep an eye on it if you're serious about meeting up with me you know that's right but anyways let's go down here to the truck stop and do our things that we got to take care of. This is it guys, we have now left the mine at North Dakota. Yep, that's right. I got information that there is a new bypass around Estevan. And I kind of noticed it the last time that I was going by there that they were working on it. Wasn't quite sure if it was finished yet or not, but I got uh, got a guy that lives up there. He texted me there. He says there is a new bypass around there, so we're going to be looking for that today. We're going to give it a shot and see if we can take that bypass around Estevan. That would be very nice if we could do that. Much needed anyways. Because Estevan has always had this thing where uh, in town you can't go straight through town with a tr semi truck. You gotta take a, a road right and then a couple of blocks down there and then come back onto Main Street. For whatever reason, they don't want us to be on that little stretch of Main Street there, but and that road was always terrible. So it'd be nice to see that bypass there and see how that works. I'll try and get that on video, that's for sure. But yeah, we uh made us a couple of sandwiches in the truck and had us a bite to eat now we're just putting the hammer down that's all we're doing probably got us about another hour and 15 minutes and we'll be uh, we'll be back in Canada I'll be happy once I'm back in Canada though yeah I'm tired though not really tired from you know like not getting enough sleep or anything like that I'm just I think I'm worn out from this long trip I've been running real hard here for the last two weeks straight now so so yeah I definitely I'm gonna want to have me a day off when I get back home that's a fact but anyways We'll see what happens here in uh, Edmonton. I already made myself available to uh, go home from there. Hopefully they'll get me a reload offer to go home from there. Hopefully that will work. So, uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens, right? Welcome back to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. We are in Saskatchewan. I mean Saskatchewan. Yes, that's right. And as usual, in Saskatchewan it's always windy and it's no exception today, exemption today, right? Yeah, it's windy again, that's for sure. I'm just looking at it, we got 503 kilometers to go to Saskatoon. So that's a little over five hours, about five and a quarter hours worth of driving, I would say. Especially since we are keeping her pretty steady and we are putting the hammer down, so, uh, so yeah, we got us a ways to go yet, that's a fact. Now we're going to try and keep an eye on this bypass that supposedly goes around the uh, Esteban city over here, so we're going to give that a try if we can, if we can find it, that would be something that we want to try, so let's go ahead and see if we can find that all right here is the 47 inner chain so let's see what we got going on up here almost looks like a smoky bear setting up here yeah i guess everybody is just blowing right through these stop signs up here probably and 
not being careful, so yeah. <laughs> oh well, they gotta protect it too, I suppose. But yeah, we got us a smoky bear sitting there and keeping an eye on things, making sure that everybody is making uh, their stop there at the stop sign there. I guess coming off of the 47 there, so. So yeah, this is uh, the new bypass around Esteban. Nothing fancy, <laughs> in my opinion, but hey, it's better than going through town, I guess. At least it's a brand new highway, right? Brand new road, still bumpy, but hey, at least we don't have to go through town. That's the main part. But anyways, I figured I'd show you that and uh, we will continue on cruising along here. Alrighty guys, it looks like it has rained here a little bit. I don't know how long ago, but yeah, it looks like it has uh, rained there for a little bit. So, just trying to keep my windshield clean so you can actually see something through there. But yeah, we are getting closer to Regina, Saskatchewan. Looks like we only got about, well, 20, 20 kilometers or so to go yet. And then we'll be in Regina. Yeah, looks like it rained right up to here. And this is where it stopped. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh, well. I still have dirt on my windshield there. So trying to get that off is a job in itself, you know hard to keep that windshield clean so you guys can actually see something proper through my windshield you know so you don't just look at bug shit or whatever you know but yeah we already got over eight hours worth of driving behind us today so and it's only two o'clock in the afternoon that's right pays off getting up early in the morning right after my 10 hour break and get her going you know that's for sure but yeah, I haven't quite decided on how far exactly I'm going to go yet. I, my number one goal is making it uh, up to Saskatoon. But uh, I don't know if I will continue on further than that. I'll see. I'll see how it's going to look with reloads later on today. I'm kind of curious if they're going to send me a reload offer later on today or not, you know. If they do, and it, you know... It requires me to uh, do a little more driving yet tomorrow then and uh, they're probably gonna do a little more driving today so that way it's easier for us tomorrow right well we'll see how it goes and go from there I suppose also on how I feel too right mind you I wouldn't uh, wouldn't mind stopping in uh, Saskatoon there at the Flying J anyways and just uh, go in there, fuel up, just relax, you know. Yeah, that's what I might just do, I might just do that, but then again, who knows, we'll see, I guess only time will tell. Alrighty, we had made a pit stop here, about 120 kilometers before Saskatoon cleaned our windshields and all that good stuff yeah it's been uh, one of those days where we've had a lot of bugs out here that's a fact we had to make sure we clean our windshield and all the lights and everything so that way uh, we can see stuff and if it is to get dark that way uh, we can see at night as well, right? And, uh, yeah. So, now we're putting the hammer down towards Saskatoon. Another hour and 15 minutes or so to get there, but, oh well. We might continue on a little bit further yet, right? We don't know that exactly yet, but. Alright, looks like they got some kind of construction going on here somewhere. I'm not too sure where this is supposed to be happening, but they're saying somewhere out here. <laughs> got the orange signs up here, but I don't really 
see any constructions going on. Oh, maybe further down the road. Maybe that's what they're referring to. But yeah, there is the sign. 113 kilometers to Saskatoon. So, we'll see how much time we have left on the log book by the time we get down there and then uh, we'll make a decision from there if we continue on further or not, right? But as of right now, that's where I have my goal set is Saskatoon and then we'll go from there. So, oh, I see this is their construction that they were talking about. In my opinion, they're just finished with it already, so I don't know why we need to slow down or anything. Nobody working here, so. But yeah, let's continue on to Saskatoon and then uh, we'll see what happens, right? Well, guys, we have decided to stay here in Saskatoon. And just a uh, flying J truck stop over here. Yes, indeed. And we got another Penner park right beside us. There's actually a bunch of Penner trucks in this parking lot today. So that's kind of a little worrisome why they are all parked here this early. Normally you don't see that many that early, you know. But uh, whatever, we still haven't gotten a reload offer yet either. So that's why I'm saying that's kind of worrying some. But we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens tomorrow. But i'm tired today we did some good miles today and we still have five and a half hours to go yet tomorrow so we're going to be going to bed here very soon and uh get some good sleep and then get out of here early tomorrow morning so appreciate you guys watching stick around for tomorrow we got some more goodies coming Behind me, that day is gonna come